Yo, I'm internationally no Usually hey hard to reach yes. on the phone Welcome back to Just Doing Me And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to go from this To this You know, and get that autumn blondy copper look So I'm absolutely loving this I hope you guys are too Stay tuned, make some notes You can find all the info about this gorgeous, gorgeous DIY hair 777 In my comment section below As well as a discount code for you guys Because I love ya <laughs> So we're looking good We're feeling good Hi guys and welcome back to Just Doing Me. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to bleach and colour and tone your wigs. So I've got two wigs here um, and these I wear all the time but the one I'm going to be colouring today is my DIY hair 777. As you can see both of these hairs are extremely similar in style except that this is more of a kinkier curl. So what I want to do is really create a bit of a difference so that I can interchange and switch up my styles a little bit more. So I'm just going to put this to the start side. That is staying as it is and today I'm going to be working with my DIY hair which I've shown you guys before on my channel. I love this hair, I like it's so good but I want to definitely just make it a little bit more full ready so I'm going to be putting some coppery to blonde tones and giving it that dip dyed effect. I'm going to take you guys through the stages of how I do that but first of all, I mean you've just seen me, we're looking good, we're feeling good, let's do this. So I picked up two boxes of bleach from the beauty store. I went with Short Scoff because it's a brand I know and trust. I also picked up a silver shampoo to knock out any copper orangey tones and foil for wrapping the hair. I also picked up a brush and a bowl which are must have. I split the hair into three sections using a hairband. The top section just around my parting. And I've left the hairband around three and a half inches from the roots of the hair because that it's not going to be coloured. You should have one top part which is around your hairline and then two bottom parts. So I'm mixing all the items in my bleach box. If you're not sure how to mix it make sure you read the instructions but I'm just putting the powder in with the developer. And of course don't forget to use your gloves because bleach can really damage your skin. Trust me, it burns. <laughs> Just having a look at the instructions, making sure I'm mixing everything properly. And if you want your colour, your bleach to go on smoothly, make sure you mix as smooth as possible, don't have lumps in there. I'm going to start out now with the top section of hair around my hairline and I'm going to apply the bleach with a brush to begin with. Doesn't matter how even it is, just apply below the hairband all the way down. We can then work it in using our hands to really massage that bleach in. So switching to your hands to massage the bleach in properly is definitely a great idea because the brush might not penetrate as well as you like. Make sure you get the bleach to as close to the hairband as you possibly can. Take your time and make sure it's as even as possible and spread all the way through. Don't just put it on the top part of the hair, work it in the middle as well. I was going to wrap the hair in foil but I changed my mind just because it was lifting so fast. The foil would be great for hair that you need to catch up with a lift. So foil, wrapping it in foil will always make the lift work quicker and more effectively. So now the most important bit, I'm going to apply bleach upwards above the band in strategic positions. So I don't want there to be a band line where the band was, so I'm going to lift the bleach just in strategic positions above the line. We're only going to do this with the section of the hair that has your hairline. It does need to be done in all three sections, just the top section that has your parting in your hairline. 
Once that top section with your parting is done, you can wrap it into a bun just to make sure you get it out of the way. And then you can start the same process with the other two bottom bits. Because you can already see that the top bit has already started lifting, I would definitely advise that you wrap the bottom two sections just to make sure they lift as quickly and catch up with the top bit as well. That's lifting really well and you can see that the two bottom bits I wrapped in foil just to make sure it's as even as possible. And because I had some bleach left over, I bleached my knots around my hairline for a more natural lace finish. So yeah guys, you can see how well that's lifted, especially at the top, you can see that there's no banding because I dragged the bleach upwards strategically, not everywhere. And then at the bottom, it's a block layer of bleach and it looks amazing. So now we're shampooing the hair and getting the bleach out and we're using the silver toner to knock out any orangey bits. We want to achieve a cool copper. So once it's all the shampoo's in there, I'm leaving it on for 20 minutes so it can really do its work letting that stay. So now it's time to get my hair ready and laid and I'm going to be using the Got To Be Glued which is what I always use to lay down my wigs. It's literally cracked for lace wigs. If you want to know how to do this properly I've got a video about how to lay your wig. So just have a look through my videos and yes applying it down. So the head scarf is really the most important part of this process. You want to make sure that you lay the hair in the exact position you want it to be and use the scarf to wrap it as tight as possible, holding it in place. I like to leave it wrapped for at least 10 minutes, but while I do my makeup it's perfect as well. So there, I'm going to leave that on while I do my makeup for the next 20 minutes at least, allowing the wig to lay down with the hairspray. Hi guys, my makeup is big and my face is ready and now I'm going to unwrap my hair. It's been setting for about 20-25 minutes, so fingers crossed it's laid down pretty well. I've got a date that I've just gotten ready for, so I really want to impress, I really want to be beat. Face is definitely beat. Let's check out my hair. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I'm going to have to definitely go over the lines and remove the excess hairspray and then I'll have to apply um, makeup to the bit of, that was covered down by the scarf. But yeah, this looks that, like it's been laid down pretty darn well. So what I'm going to use, normally I would use a baby wipe, but I've run out of those. I'm just going to use a cotton bud and a bit of micellar water. So this is basically like my makeup remover. Just lightly wet this and then I'm going to use that to just take off the excess hairspray. Just dab softly all the way across the hairline, removing all the white bits that you can see. So yes, I'm just gonna let this down now and style my hair. What do you guys think? <laughs> so yeah, this is going to definitely need some styling. I'm going to run some water and run some oil, some styling oil through the hair and work my way through the hairline. I'll show you guys the after effect. But one thing I just want to let you guys know if you're going to try this at home, make sure you do a patch test. Cut off a little bit of the hair at the back and patch test with the bleach just to make sure that, you know, it's not going to damage up the hair too much. With good quality hair like this, you should be fine, but just don't ruin the whole wig without patch testing. Next thing you need to know is that bleach is always going to dry out your hair. So make sure you've got a deep conditioner ready and waiting for once the process is done to put that moisture back into the hair. Another thing is when you're lifting hair this dark, you're going to... Um, you're going to release or you're going to show a lot of red copper orangey tones you don't want to be walking around with bright orange hair so make sure you've got a toner hi guys so this is the overall finished look i've put some oil through the hair some water and i've just styled it very quickly i'm going to play around with it and create a few more looks make sure you check them out on my instagram at just doing underscore me so yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video we're looking good we're feeling good Hey! <laughs>